Hi guys, Dominique Drew here with The Art of Attraction. I wanted to just record a short video for you today um, outlining something I've been coming across lately, which is <clears throat> the experience of having a relationship not work out in the past, trying to draw the conclusion from that as to why it didn't work, and then adjusting that uh, in the future so that you don't have the same result. All seems perfectly logical, right? So how does this end up leaving you single? All right, so here's the example that, um, that I gave. So uh, let's say you date a woman and she has, uh, she has kids, she has teenagers, right? And let's say she's one of those parents who, um, for me, I have a really hard time with, <laughs> they, they really irritate me, um, the kind of parent who lets their kids sort of you know, run all over and, and do whatever, right? So if you're in an office building or a restaurant, the kids are just, you know, they're running wild or they're speaking too loudly or they're just generally self-aware or not self-aware, and um, the parent thinks that's fine and just kind of lets that, lets that go. Um, and let's say that you're dating this woman, everything else is great, um, and you, um, but you have a problem with this parenting. The kids are jerks, right? They're assholes. Um, so not really for their, for their fault, right? It's the parent's job to hold that boundary. She hasn't been able to do that for whatever reason in her life. Um, and, but, but that ends up being an incompatibility and unfortunately it doesn't work out and you guys go your separate ways, okay? So you might go through that relationship and come out thinking, logically, uh, well, it was the kids, right? Other than the children, we had a wonderful relationship. So from now on, I'm not gonna date new women who have kids, okay? Uh, it's not illogical, okay? Uh, in a way, yes, the children were kind of the problem, but really the children weren't the problem, right? Because she had an inability to really hold that boundary, which is incredibly important for kids, right? She may have been very a uh, wonderful parent in other areas where she was supportive and accepting and loving, that's great, but there needs to be that balance for children, right? Uh, love and support, boundaries, you know, here's how we act, be aware of others, be respectful, things like that. So if she'd been able to do that, she may have had lovely kids who, you know, you were able to be in relationship with and, and didn't cause the two of you to break up. So I hear this often where people are like, yeah, you know, I dated this, uh, this woman, she was long distance and that didn't work. And so long distance, I'm not gonna do long distance anymore. It's like, well, it's not the distance necessarily. Okay. So what then you tend to do, how does this keep you single? Right? So then what you tend to do is you go, great. Kids didn't work. No more women with children. And now you've just really cut down, um, you know, it's, it's, it's not that it's a, a numbers game, it's that now you've cut off possibility to um, success with a lot of women, right? Because a lot of women are really great parents and can <clears throat> hold that boundary really well. And the kids could complement your relationship rather than complicate it, right? So... Um, so then you cut that off and it's possible that the, you know, your dream woman is, you know, is necessarily right in front of you and she might have kids and you've, you, you're not, you're no longer considering her as an option. Does that make sense? So, um, so yeah, long distance, love your life could absolutely be long distance, at least for a short time. But if you cut that off entirely, see what I mean? So it closes you down, closes you off to your options. Okay. So, um, that logical look back at what you think caused the relationship is where the problem is, okay? Um, so rather than, so what do you do about this, right? So rather than looking back and seeing, okay, it looks like this is what the problem was, um, look at it on a larger scale, okay? What is the, the pattern for you, right? If you have a woman and she's just like all about her kids, like her kids are her life and she's got nothing outside of that, um, and you come out of that and think, oh, it was because of the kids, maybe your actual pattern is women who are all about something that's not you. Maybe the pattern is being chosen second all the time, right? Maybe with one woman's her job. Well, it's not that you want a woman who doesn't have a career. Maybe you just want a woman who prioritizes you, right? So... What's the overarching pattern for you? Because that's going to show you what you continuously attract, right? Which is then going to lead you to um, what is keeping you single.
right? Because the problem is you're attracting the same women over and over again, same type of women in some way, right? The goal is to find out what that way is. They all leave me. <clears throat> they all don't prioritize me. They all, um, you know, get bored. They all cheat. You know, whatever your pattern is, or I get bored, or I cheat, you know, whatever your pattern is, that's where you start. And then underneath that, you'll find the cause of what's keeping you single. So it's really, it's, it's right under the surface. And again, you're not being illogical, right? Um, it's that you're addressing the wrong problem. Logic takes you the wrong direction in this area. Okay, this is deeper than logic. Attraction is deeper than logic. Okay, logic happens here in the brain. Um, attraction is visceral, it's primal, it's energetic, it's in the body. Okay, all the good shit is down in your body, right? Huge amount of wisdom uh, in the body, huge amount of guidance. That's exactly where I go with my clients every single time to show them exactly why they're single and exactly what to do about it. It's down here, okay? It's not up in your head. If you could solve this with your head, you would have done so by now, right? So um, one of the first things I teach is to teach people to breathe down into their body um, and really experience what's happening in my body right now. You know, maybe I'll do a whole other video for you for that. Um, and certainly you can um, I do a lot of that on my podcast. So, um, so really, yeah, um, looking beneath the logic, look for the pattern. Okay, what is it that keeps happening for you um, that's, that's causing your relationship to fail or for you not to get one in the first place? And, and you start there. So if you are interested in uh, learning more about this or talking to me one-on-one, -on -one, uh, please follow the link below. It's dominiedrew.com forward slash uh, schedule or forward slash hello. Uh, and that'll take you to a little video of me you know, talking about who I am and, and what I do. And um, I'd love to uh, speak with you and see if I can help. So I hope that's helpful. I hope that gives you a little uh, insight into uh, this issue. And thanks for listening. Talk soon.